What is Before Agent True in Jenkins? In some cases, you might have one of a specific type of agent. For example, you might only have one Mac OS agent available to all of your jobs. However, there are some times to where someone may pick up a connection to that agent, but in reality, they're not using that agent at all. In order to mitigate those issues, those pipelines should be written using before agent true. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.332.3, and attached to this controller, I have an agent. Down in the description of this video is a link to a gist that has the example pipelines that we're creating for this video. So let's take a look at how this job is defined. So if we take a look at it, we're not to the before agent yet, but I wanna be able to show you how we get into trouble, and then we'll show how to resolve it. So in this case, I have an agent none at the global level, and then I'm using agent any within the stage. This will become more clear as we work our way through the examples. I've set up a win that says equals expected two, but the actual is three. So this is always going to fail. Since I know this win clause is always going to fail, in reality, I don't want to even get a connection to any of my agents. I want to be able to process my win conditional and based on that win conditional, then make a connection to the agent if it's even necessary. This may not be a big deal for static agents, but let's say for a moment that you're using Kubernetes to provide you ephemeral agents. Let's say you have a very large pod template and you've got multiple containers going into that pod template definition and those images have not been downloaded yet. It could take moments for that to actually start up and run. But if that pod would never be used, you've wasted a lot of time and resources. So what I would want to see happen here first is, since I know this is gonna be false, I don't even want to see a connection to the agent. Let's click on save and let's see what really happens here to begin with. So if we take a look at the output of one, we see we get a connection to agent, but then that stage is skipped due to the win conditional because two does not equal three. The key part here is we still got a connection to an agent and we really didn't need to. Let's take a look at a different version of this example. So we'll go in here, click on configure. The pipeline is gonna look similar, but our win condition has changed. Instead of doing a win equal, we're doing a win expression. But within this expression, we're gonna sleep for 10 seconds and then return to true, which means the win will actually resolve to true and then the, therefore the steps will run. But I will have had to await for 10 seconds. Again, a contrived example, but let's take a look and see what happens when we run this one. We click on save, click on build now. And if we take a look at the output of two, we can see that we've got a connection to agent one, but we're not doing any kind of work right now, but we're waiting for 10 seconds. Finally, since it does pass, we get a hello world from the output. Let's make one change to this. We'll go to before agent, configure, just to show how painful this can be. We'll change this return true to return false. We'll click on save and click on build now. When we take a look at the output of three, again, we get a handle to that agent one, which we really don't want. We wait for 10 seconds. And then finally, we can see that that stage is skipped, which makes sense because we did a return false. But we had to wait 10 seconds. And during that time, this agent was unavailable to anyone else to use. So let's go ahead and go back in and let's modify this job to take advantage of before agent. So within the win block, I'm going to put in a before agent true. No colon, no equals, just before agent and true. And what's going to happen is the win is gonna be evaluated first. If the expression passes, then we'll continue on into the stage. So let's set it up the same way we did it before. I'm going to say true. So we'll click on save, but before we click on build now, again, I want to review the last one. We can see that we're running on agent one. That's the very first thing that we see because we get a handle to that agent. Let's go back to before agent, click on build now. What we'll see here in run number four is we're sleeping for 10 seconds, but notice we don't have a connection to the agent yet. Because we did a return true, then we got a connection to the agent and we ran hello world. But let's go back in one more time, make the change, and this time instead of returning true, we're going to return a false. We'll click on save and click on build now. When we take a look at output of five, notice we're sleeping 10 seconds, no connection to the agent at all. Then we skip the hello since the conditional failed. And you'll also notice that there were no references to agent one anywhere in this job run. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees.
If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to Cloudbees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on Cloudbees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.